Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Steve Kemp, SK Photography. Now, why did I just do that? Am I angry about something? Did I not get enough money in my tax returns? What is it? Hmm. Oh, that's why. My first heavy duty, sturdy, I like that word, sturdy, tripod. What is this tripod? It is Vanguard, made by Vanguard. Check them out, highly recommend them. Ultra Pro 263 AT tripod. Uh, I got this, arrived in the mail today. Thank you very much, you know who you are. And uh, I got this because I watched Jared Poland's one video on tripods, and he did a uh, video on this tripod. You know, if you're looking for your first real good sturdy tripod that'll last you 10 plus years, 15 plus years, this is the way to do it. Um, as you can see, that tripod broke like that and yes I scuffed up some of my marks on my deck here my mom's not going to be too happy and now my hands are white cool all right but yes this is the Vanguard Ultra Pro 263 AT tripod but the one thing I noticed about the difference between this one and the one I just broke is well I'm not about to slam it and toss it around I just got it today but the sturdiness of it made from aluminum alloy that was just a cheap plastic i got at a photography store way back then in high school and uh yep yeah, looks like i can't use that tripod anymore when you know you have a good tripod it doesn't come with a head you know the tripod i just destroyed there it already came with the head it was just a attachable one that you just flick on the tripod not very sturdy so how do I put the camera on here? You need a head, right? That's why I went out and got the Vanguard G8. Woo! Don't go anywhere. Got the Vanguard GH-100 grip head. Head grip. Grip head? My head's a grip? Sure. Um, it's actually really cool. Looks like a gun. I actually, when I bought this, I looked for a hole on the bottom to see if I could attach it to my hose. There isn't. But now, nah, like, this is just really cool. You know, I, I tested it out on the uh, tripod and whatnot. You know, it'll take me a good few couple of days just to get used to what exactly everything does. But um, right now, I'm looking at this, and I can already tell it's real sturdy. It can go anywhere from vertical, horizontal, anywhere you want to go. You know, if you want to go straight down, and another thing I noticed about this, and this is good for photographers who like to do videos, such as myself and Eric Rossi and Jared Poland, um, this is really good for video as well, because it gives you that strong ability to just grip it, press, turn, and you can point the camera any direction you want. Um, you know, there's a lock and unlock, uh, release it to make your camera more sturdy. And now I'm bleeding. I got a boo-boo. Oh, boo boo. But no, nah, like I, I haven't used this yet. Actually, Friday I'm gonna go. I'm going back to New Hope to take more photos of fireworks. I went there last Friday. Uh, really got the pictures I wanted. A little out of focus, just a tiny bit out of focus. But that's why I'm gonna go and give it another try. Try to get everything as sharp and in focus as I can, and get those shots and hopefully get one blown up. I haven't gotten a picture blown up in a while, so, but. I'm getting off topic here. So let's go back to this tripod. Well, actually, let me bring both of these into here. So you got the Vanguard GH100 with the uh, Vanguard Ulta Pro 263 AT tripod. Now, how does this go on? Well, on the top of right here, there's a little screw. On the bottom of this is a little hole. What I'm going to do is... Don't do that when you're doing it. That's bad. I'm going to do it like this, actually. Is that I am just going to twist it easily. Make sure I don't drop it this time. And bam. There you go. It is on. 
Now, one thing I learned from Jared Poland's videos, and thank you very much actually for uh, making these videos, is that when you extend your tripod out, let's see how, about, how long, how big this thing goes. Uh, it's brand new out of the box, so it's a little bit, you know, hard to pull out everything, but you know, I'm gonna be using this a lot, so it'll be able to loosen up very quickly. Let's see, where, where does this stand? Perfect. It's about right up, well with the head on it, it comes up right to about, oop, comes right up to my necklace, my chest right here. But one thing that I noticed that I was doing wrong with tripods is that you always want to have one leg in front. If your lens is pointed that way, you want one leg pointed that way. I didn't realize I always had my tripod like this. One leg between my, one leg between my legs and the two legs straight out. That's not good because if you have a long lens and it's very heavy, it could topple over. So always make sure when you're using a tripod that your lens is facing the same direction as the leg in front is. I, look at this thing. It's, it's beautiful. It's sturdy, not going anywhere, you know, and if you feel like if you're really bored one night and you're waiting for fireworks to go off or something, pretend like you're in a video game, you know, just be like, pew, 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 pew. You don't even have to put a quarter in it. You could just, two squirrel, two old woman, two baby, two. No, don't do that though. Seriously, that's bad. But no, I'm loving this already. I mean, I can't thank Jared Poland enough for recommending this. This is a, uh, you know, if you're just starting out to get your first good sturdy tripod, this will run you with the head and tripod together. It'll run you about 250 bucks. Uh, this, the head was about 80 bucks and uh, the tripod itself was about 150, so throw it all together, you get close to $250. But, you know, let's see some other things that it can do. Well, check this out. You can extend the legs all the way out. Not really the best way to do it right here because I'm close to the wall, but you can extend it all the way out so you can get closer to the ground. Um, that's really cool, so if like you're doing f photos of flowers and you need a long shutter speed, or you're taking a photo of a baby on the ground or something, check this out. Now let's see if I could do it really quickly because I'm still getting used to this whole tripod whatnot, what everything does and everything. All right, let me just stop you right there. Let me stop myself right there. This comes all the way to my uh, eye level. I can do this, bam, bam, but the camera's gonna be up here. So I'm six foot two, I can deal with it. But let me show you, if you're into macro, uh, shooting, you know, macro lenses, um, taking pictures of bugs, you know, really wanting their eyes to pop, or say you just want to take a picture of something low to the ground, a baby, a flower, anything. Check this out. There's just a little button, there's a little button right here on this shaft. I know that sounded funny. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's photography, people. You just push that button, let it go all the way up, and then bam, check that out. I'm going to lock this into place. I'm going to tighten this up. And just to be sure, I'm going to tighten that up. Look at that. My camera's going to be right here. All right, let me bring it back just a little bit more. And you can move it anywhere you want. You can go upside down. It can go sideways. So just for the time being, I'll leave it right here. If I got my camera right here, all I got to do is remember, squeeze and just go at it. Um, really good. You can just go ahead and then, bam, take a shot. So for my first beginner tripod, I think this is going to really work out for me. I, I can't express how much, how sturdy it is. You know, it's the, st the sturdiness of it's really going to keep it, if you take care of it over the years, it's really going to last you 10 to 15 years. Um, you know, with anything photography with me, I treat like my own kids. I do not have kids yet, but I'm getting off topic always. Um, but this is it. This is the Vanguard Alta Pro 263 AT tripod with the GH100 uh, grip, or head grip, I should say. I'm just so used to it. Um, I'm really excited to shoot with it. Um, right now, I'm actually recording this on one of my plastic uh, tripods that I bought a while back. But from now on, any video that I do will be on this baby. Um, so I would really highly recommend it, recommend it, uh, check out Alan's camera and video. Um, I didn't see it on their website, but I called them up and they said, yep, we have it. Bam. There you go. So that's it. If you guys have any questions about this tripod, please leave them on the comment box below. Please subscribe 
and another video coming to you on Friday when I do a little short video on how to shoot fireworks. So Stephen Kempf, SK Photography, keep on shooting everybody.